Um, <laughs> Glory to God. Um, I wasn't leaving here, something in my heart, and I know moms know this, when um, you don't want any of your children hurt or anything happening, you always say, give it to me. Uh, my daughter lost uh, her hearing back in October. Um, and they gave her medications, they gave me no answers um, from two different hospitals. and. I never lost faith or hope um, because I've had a mother who's been in three comas and she got out of those three comas. And my daughter didn't either. She was getting at that point that she was. She says, mom, is God really there? Grandma got back. I'm not losing my faith, mom, but sometimes I wanna turn my back to God and Jesus. And I said, don't do that, Hayden. That's the last thing you should do. Um, how we got here, it's something very incredible. How it's just the Lord uses people. But, and I'm sorry, I'm just, <laughs> um, they told me that she was gonna need a cochlear implant. And they gave her the medication and the medication caused her to be paralyzed for seven weeks in a wheelchair. We didn't know if she was gonna walk again. It was the hardest moment seeing your child in a wheelchair and her hearing and just, I, I was like, what's gonna happen next? I got no answers from doctors. We were just gonna, they had set up to her cochlear implant. And uh, we came here and everything, like David said, um, at the end, I said as a mom, I'm not leaving here till he prays over her. There just was something in my heart. And I came up and I asked a gentleman because I seen Patrick who was next to him. Um, and I came to Patrick and I asked him, can you, can you call him back? Can he just pray for her, please? And um, he did, he went back there. David came out and from then on, um, my daughter just, her hearing came back. And we had, Now I remember praying for you and seeing you just begin to cry, what was happening to you in that moment? It was a moment where I can't like explain. I felt heat go through my body. I, I just can't explain it, but it felt, I, I, was, I was very shocked. I didn't know what was going on at the moment, but somehow my hearing came back and now, tell everybody here what this is in your hand. These are, this is what I wanted. Um, she was set for the implant, and I called the doctor's office. I called my insurance, and I said, no, I need another audiogram. And they said, why? She's already set. She can't hear. And what's an audiogram, for those who don't know? So it's a test where they test for your hearing. Um, when we got there that day, I told Hayden, I said, Hayden, you just sit there and you just pray and you just let them do what they got to do, the text doctor. Uh, we were there about two hours or so, an exam that takes that's really fast because they kept on connecting and disconnecting the machines. <laughs> they were just like, what's going on? And I was in there with her in the booth and I'm just sitting there and Hayden looks at me and I'm just like, okay. And then they would come in and she said, are you sure? Um, is there anything wrong? Did you go somewhere? And I said, somewhere. I go, I, I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I've, we've only been to this hospital and the other hospital. The same things you guys have, I have. Oh, no, no, but I said, is there something wrong? And she said, well, yeah, we think we're going to restart the machines. We're going to, you know, and they just continued. And Hayden was so annoyed. She was just like, they kept on just in and out, putting different things. I didn't get no answer uh, for a while. Doctor wouldn't even respond back to me. I knew why, but um, that was a, uh, so we ended up getting the records and that's what I wanted to see and her hearing bent from, started at 80, lost to 100%, she was lost and now she's at 15 back again, so. And you have the medical report to prove it. Look at this, so, so explain what they're looking at. So we're looking at this here where she was at. 
that she had lost her whole hearing, as you can see on the right and left, all this, the graphs there where you loss of hearing, where you need a cochlear implant and stuff, all the way up to where she's at now on her right ear and stuff. And it says on here where um, results were obtained in the normal healing range with excellent reliability. And to Jesus belongs all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. Can we give the Lord a hand of praise? Wow. Well, you go rejoicing in your miracle and remember that it was Jesus who did this for you. And he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's always with you. God bless you. You know, you look at stories like that and you can't help but be thankful for the power of the Holy Spirit. It's Jesus who did that. You hear what I said? That was Jesus who did that. There's no denying. You, you see, what I love about miracles is you can't argue with miracles. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.